These are my random and not so random thoughts about Daredevil on Netflix. Okay, I watched the first season of Daredevil and I was hooked and I couldn't wait to get back into that world for season two. And I gotta tell you that season two just took everything that they set up in season one and they expanded on it and they built it up and they made it better. And I know it's been out for a while, so this is not a, a spoiler by any stretch. Punisher is amazing. Punisher is amazing. I can't wait for him to get his own show because I gotta tell you, the Punisher, the way that he was depicted in Daredevil, oh man, I love it. The action, oh, the show, there are, you know, 13 episodes, and I gotta tell you, they probably could have did a lot more than that. Uh, the, the, the characters and the way they built them up, and Foggy, and, and Charlie Cox, and the, the, the characters, they just, real, Matt Murdock, they really took us deeper into the characters. Rosario Dawson, awesome, oh my God. John Barenthal as the Punisher. I can't think of anyone else who could play the Punisher and do what he did. The guy is amazing. And of course, like I said, Rosario Dawson, she's in everything these days and she is an amazing actress. She's, she's starting to win me over. Not that I wasn't won over from the beginning, but she's really, really, really starting to win me over. But, um, if you were on the fence about watching Daredevil, get off the fence and watch the show. Because <clears throat> Matt Murdock as a Daredevil has developed as a character. The, the, um, the things that he faces, they, they just really, it, it, they really go overboard they really go right up to the wire with the villains and, and they really work. There's a lot of threats in here where you really are wondering if they're gonna be able to survive. The only reason why you know they will is because you know it's a TV show and they're not gonna kill off their devil. But there are some moments in the show where you're like, okay, okay, how's he gonna get out of it? It was, it, that's what I, that's when you know the show is great. Now, I'm gonna give you one negative about Daredevil. As a comic book fan, I love the character of Elektra. As a comic book fan, I know the character of Elektra. Elektra does a great job. Elektra is fierce. The Elektra on this season, second season of Daredevil, she's not Elektra, I'm sorry. That character is, mm, fail, it's a fail. It's a fail. Electra, she's not. And I'll leave it at that. You let me know what you thought, but I thought that as Electra, she sucked. And they should have got anybody to play her. Even Jennifer Garner would have been a better Electra. And I, and you know, the Daredevil movie, we're not gonna go there. Because if you go there, there, there are many other things that we could say, but this iteration on Netflix, season two, I'm looking forward to season three. And those are my random and not so random thoughts about Daredevil on Netflix. My final determination is it's a must see. If you like the first season, you'll love the second season. If you love the first season, you'll be out of your mind for the second season. So, hey, watch Daredevil on Netflix. I definitely recommend it. And as I said, that's my random and not so random thoughts.